Hello, this is Abdul Mati Asiri. I'd like to welcome you to another Boeing 737 video tutorial. This video is the sixth in the series talking about the approach and landing in the Boeing 737 for new pilots. And as you know, this series is meant for new pilots who are just starting their flying for the 737. And some of the videos in the series are going to be very advanced. Some of them are going to be very basic like this one, which we talk about how to disengage the autopilot and auto throttle. Now before we start, I'd like to ask you one question. Does it make any difference for you? Or do you have any preference on disengaging the auto throttle before the autopilot or the opposite? For me, it did not make any sense or did not make any difference until I came across uh, this suggestion for a technique to disengage the auto throttle first and then the autopilot. Now I don't know what's the uh, point, but I guess because anytime you disengage one of them, the other one will do some input changes so if i disengage the auto throttle then the autopilot may disengage the or may change the stab trim setting before i disengage it and if i disengage the autopilot first then the auto throttle will for sure will change the setting until i disengage it while those changes might be minor it might affect the transition from automation to manual flight a little bit at the beginning so disengaging the auto throttle at, at the beginning because the autopilot is slower to respond to the change than the auto throttle, so I guess it's better. And I believe that's the reason, I'm not sure. But I've been uh, utilizing this technique for a long time now and it, it works very good for me. So the, the point with the auto throttle disengagement is you need to click twice on the disengage uh, button here. The first one is to, is to disengage the auto throttle and the second one is to Cancel the the flashing annunciator here for the auto throttle press to reset. For the autopilot, the first click is to disengage the autopilot and the second one is to silence the oral warning of the autopilot disengagement and to uh, switch off the flashing light here for the autopilot press to reset. So what I usually do is, or what I suggest that you do, is to click, pause for a short while, and then click again. So click, pause, and then click. Adjust the throttle if you need to. Once you are happy with the throttle, then we'll go to the autopilot, click, pause, click. And this will result in the smoothest transition from automation to manual flight. If you do a marathon of clicks here trying to trying to cancel the oral warning. The oral warning will do one complete cycle to announce the autopilot disengagement. So if you do four clicks, very quick clicks, or two with a slight pause, it's gonna be the same thing. So it's better just to do a click, so a short pause and then click. So click and then click, especially for the autopilot. I've seen um, some, some of the new pilots will try to do multiple clicks here on the disengage and what we end up with is the autopilot uh, annunciator here, press to reset, will continue on flashing and the oral warning will continue on sounding, which is not uh, a smooth transition from automation to uh, manual flight. So again, uh, this was just a basic thing that I wanted to highlight in this series. And as usual, if you have any questions, comment, concerns, I'll be more than happy to discuss them. Until next video, this is Abdul Mati Asiri. Wish you safe flying and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.